Bristol Community College Bayhawks versus Quinn Sigamon Community College. Welcome everybody to Bristol Community College Bayhawks Basketball as we broadcast on live stream on Facebook here at Bishop Colony High School in Fall River, Massachusetts. Hello everyone, I'm David Cadoza. Alongside me is the phenomenal one, the phenomenal Portuguese cowboy Craig Salvador. Craig, I want to welcome you in for another great night of Bayhawks basketball. Yeah, here we go against uh, Queen Simon. We're coming in today. BCC looking to win, six, uh, win their 16th game so far in the season. And BCC... Uh, Craig is 15 and 0 in Region 21, so they're 15 and 0 basically in, in conference play. 15 to 4 overall. The four games they've lost have all been outside the conference. So we're here at LaFrance Gymnasium getting ready for the tip, and uh, Joshua Winbush from Lake Charles, Louisiana, getting ready to tip off against Quinn Sigamond's uh, center there. Yep, BCC very easily winning tip off. Easily, six foot seven Winbush, or at least six inches over the uh, Quinn Sigamond's. Uh, Next tallest player. Ooh, what a block coming from behind. That was Luis Maldonado coming right from behind. Actually, oh, it was Justin Gasper, the paper's written kind of weird. <laughs> but it was Gasper coming from behind, just blocking Caleb Provitt hard as he was driving to the, uh, driving to the rack. Here's Juan Espinal. They'll dump it into Josh Wimbush. Look for him to have a big game today. Back to the other big. Gets it stolen away. Quinn Sigamon on a 2 on 1. Number 10 lays it up and in. Angel Crespo, freshman from Fitchburg, Massachusetts. Standing at 5 foot 11, lays it in for the first basket of the game. Espinol gets it down low to Wimbush, getting double teamed. Vega going baseline. No good. With Sigamon Community College hosted last year's MC MCC AC tournament last year. Yeah, BCC took part of that. Unfortunately, took an early exit. Yes, they did last year against Mass Bay. That's a deep three. Looks like Kevin McHale over here. Number th three point shot is good by Johnny Dombrowski, six foot two sophomore from Lemonster. Yeah, kind of like the. Uh Behind the head, really, yeah. shooting formation. Oh, and a reverse jam by Joshua Winbush. Oh, the freshman with a big dunk right there in your face. BCC with a 5-2 lead. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, BCC trails 
And Josh Wimbush is going to have to have a really big night tonight on offense because uh, one of the leading scorers, Corey Green, is out tonight. We saw him sitting on the sidelines appearing to have a boot on his foot. He has no CG3. Floater in the lane is no good. Rebounded by Hakan Koban. Zachary Vega. Looks like he didn't know what he wanted to do with it at first. Short jumper by Espinal is no good. Rebounded by Hakan Koban. No good. And BCC cannot connect. Ooh, little, little hesitation. And then it looked like he got blocked by the side of the backboard there, actually. Vega on the other end. Looked like he might have traveled, but ref, no call by the referee. It's going to stay BCC by basketball. Quinn Sigamon Community College comes in here after a long drive from Western Mass or Central Mass, Worcester. They come in here 4 and 12, 4 and 13 overall. Laying by Winbush for two. And he has all BCC's points so far early on. If you're just joining us, it's early yet. 17 and a half minutes to play here in the first half. Quinn Sigamon with the lead. Five to four. On the drive. Kicks it back out from the elbows, a jumper, no good. Tipped, rebounded by Dombrowski, and he gets fouled and he'll go to the line. That foul goes to Juan Espinal. Looked like a clean block at first, but they're gonna say he got some contact. Yep, definitely contact, and he will go to the line, Johnny Dombrowski. Six foot two sophomore. He's the tallest guy on this on Quinn Sigamon Wyvern's club. Craig, real quick, uh, quiz question. What is a wyvern? What is a wyvern? A wyvern is some sort of dragon creature. That's right. I think we went over this we did, it was in the something, past. Yeah, I remember last year we were talking about him. Just had never seen this word before. Yeah, it's some like, kind of like. I think in their logo, it's a dragon with a basketball. Yeah, see, yeah, like, it's a dragon with a basketball. It's some kind of medieval, like, uh, yeah. Eventually, people kind of just start running out of ideas for mascot names. <laughs> <laughs> I think most people haven't heard of a wyvern. But Dombrowski hit both free throws for a quick Sigamon. Going back the other way. Oh, nice spin move there in the lane. Couldn't get it to go. A little miscue on defense. Couldn't secure the rebound was BCC. Goes out of bounds. And Quinn Sigamon, Craig, they, um, they have a short, short roster here. Just uh, six dressed players. Yeah, just six players. BCC with a uh, depleted bench. Uh, more so than usual. I believe they have eight, uh, eight dress players. Right now, BCC suffering from some education issues. Martin's going to come in. Damian Martin, who is the team, who is a teammate of Joshua Winbush. They both went to Barb High School in New Orleans, Louisiana. Great find there by Rob Delalue to find those two. As Dombrowski connects for another free throw. Dombrowski has that old school like Kevin McHale release over the head. It's definitely, it's it's definitely, something, you, it's definitely that, something that just looks like straight out of the 80s. <laughs> yes. Go back and look at old tapes of uh, Kevin McHale. BCC gets into their offense. Wimbush pops out, cross court. Martin for three, can't get it to drop. Rebounded by the Wyverns. That was a rebound by, by Gasper. And BCC right now starting this game without their starting point guard, Alexander Holloway, in the starting lineup. They had started the first half of the season that way, but then we saw last game Holloway had played such a big impact. And he played very well the last time that we were here. He was actually our BCC, our Bayhawks player of the game. Exactly, and they have to go back to not playing with him for now. I saw him, I don't want to make assumptions, I saw him with a trainer, I think. He might just be out of just the starting lineup. He might get back into the game, but I'm not sure exactly what happened. And that's another stud up for BCC. And as we, as we mentioned, Corey Green, one of, the, one of the better scorers, probably one of their best pure scorers. Um, definitely probably their best shooter, CG3 out. Looks like with an injury, we've seen him with a, with a boot on. And that's not, that's not good news for BCC as we approach, as we get closer and closer to, um, to tournament time. Yeah, getting closer to nitty-gritty territory. And that's what it's all about. And it's when you want to be playing your best basketball. Getting underneath. Ooh, nice block by Coban. Getting it to Provit, and he's going to get fouled. 
They're going to call the foul number 23, Brendan Dion. He's 5'11". He's a freshman. Goes from Clinton, Massachusetts. Provitt goes in the backcourt to Martin. Quinn Sigamon in zone. Provitt thought about it. Gets into the lane. Jump step. No good. Rebound. Rebounded by number 10, Angel Crespo. Angel Crespo, the floor general for this Wyverns team. Loose ball. Winbush. Look at, look at him run the floor. Looking like a gazelle. Goes up, and he'll get fouled, and he'll go to the line. I expect a big game from uh, Joshua Winbush today. He's he's six foot seven, very long as we know, and the next tallest player, Craig, is Johnny Dombrowski, who's six foot two. He scored most of the points so far for Quinn Sigamon. He looks he, he's he goes a six foot two, but doesn't look six foot two out there. But yeah, it doesn't look like the tallest person on the team. <laughs> it doesn't. Josh Winbush has that high arcing shot. And speaking of Dombrowski, he'll come in. He'll come in for number 33. He's, saying he's the tallest person on the team. Just look at him next to Caban, though. Yeah, exactly. He's just dwarfed by him. And BCC, yeah, they they definitely outmatch uh, Quinn Sigamon as far as height goes. As, as Winbush connects on both free throws, yeah, ha Hakan Caban, number 24, from Istanbul, Turkey. He's a great steal he's by six, six. Martin. In the corner. Vega back out to Martin. Martin gets into the lane, and they're going to call him for a charge. Eight to six early. BCC, even though they've lost four games, they've been ultra competitive even in the games they've lost. And uh, they've been missing players here in the second half of the here in the second half of the season. Loose ball coming up to the Bayhawks. Winbush in the open court, surrounded by Wyverns. No foul. Offensive rebound by Provitt. Couldn't get it to go on the putback. Oh, nice pass there. Oh, nice interior passing. But then it gets taken away by Coban. Here, Coach Rob Del said, take our time. Both teams really aren't taking their time on the offensive end. Yep, Damian Martin now taking his time, catching his breath, just kind of trying not to make any mistakes. And that ball gets deflected out of bounds by number 24. It's It's either Brendan Dine or Luis Maldonado. They'll dump it into to, uh, Winbush. Oh, nice pass to get it to his old college team, uh, old high school teammate, and then he throws it out of bounds. Luis Maldonado comes into the game. Actually, not Luis Maldonado. Justin Gasper. Okay, BCC double teams. As soon as they bring it over the court, they get the steal. Provitt got numbers, hands it off to Coban, lays it in. Nice steal by Provitt, the pass to Coban. Completes the play. Eight to eight, coming up on 14 minutes to play. You're watching Bayhawks basketball here on FR Media. And thank you for everybody for joining us on the live stream. Floater in the lane by Dombrowski is no good. Rebounded by Winbush. Winbush going the other way, coast to coast. Wimbush doing a lot of the ball handling. Nice. Gets it inside to Coban. Strong to the hole, and he gets it. And uh, Quinn Sigamon asks for a timeout. Timeout on the floor, 10 to 8, 13.45 to play here at LaFrance Gymnasium in Fall River, Massachusetts. Cardoza and Craig Salvador on the call. And we'll keep it here. So the Bayhawks have simply dominated. Uh, Craig, they got up to a fast start this year, starting out the gate, 11-0, uh, and 0, and uh, really have not looked back. I mean, they had they had some few, they had a few uh, tough games there outside of conference. And when they played Sullivan Community College, who was an eight, the eighth ranked team in the country, um, yeah, and stemming least, from New York, and, and they uh, I believe they dropped two in the CCRI um, open, but ever since then they've really picked it back up. You know, 15 and four right now. 
coming in face, uh, facing this Quinn Sigamon team who, lack for a better term, have been kind of lackluster this season. Yeah, and you're right, Craig. They really, after dropping those few games right there, those few out-of-conference games, I mean, it could have snowballed. They, and then they really did pick it back up and got it back on the winning on the winning end of it. And that was something I always talked about this team during the uh, first half of the season was their resilience, and they are able to come back like that. Because again, you know, four straight losses, that can, you know, that can damage a team's psyche. But nope, they rattled back, and they've been able to win four straight after that. Thank goodness for that. Coban. Provitt running the offense now. Martin swings it. Baker in the corner for three. Can't get it to drop. High going for the rebound was Justin Gasper. Driving to the hole, Dombrowski. Can't get it to drop, tip, no good. Rebounded by Vega, who gets it out to Martin, finds his old high school teammate, but it gets deflected and stolen. Going back the other way. Oh, that's, that's gonna be an offensive foul, and it is. Good job by Zachary Vega, Just taking the charge, drawing the foul, not allowing any points to go on the board. And that was a hard foul to take, though. That was Jose Alejandro with the charge. Okay, I think we found the odd man out here. It's a process of elimination. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Someone didn't belong. One of these things is not like the other. Oh, uh, you remember your Sesame Street? Of course. <laughs> Sesame Street is timeless. All right, here comes Dwayne Martin with the basketball to his backcourt teammate, Caleb Provitt. In the post, Winbush. Man, loses control of it. Wimbush going for the slam. Nine on the shot clock, they'll get it inside. Wimbush in the paint, gets it to go. They could do that all day, seemingly, Greg. They could just dump it into Wimbush and he could do that all day. It's a huge mismatch. Yes, Wimbush is just so much taller than the entire team. And of course he is, and much more skilled. Oh, Wimbush passed out to Vega. Vega going for the jam. Another missed jam. <laughs> Caleb Provitt almost got the uh, almost got the save, but yeah, I remember earlier in the season that was kind of the running joke with Zachary Vega's missed jams. It's still running. It's I had kind of a break because he kind of stopped trying. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of feel bad for him at this point, and Quit Sigamon will turn the ball over, and it's going to be Bayhawks basketball. Also in the game for the for BCC is number 20, Luis Rosario. Martin swings it, prop it for three. Can't, can't drop it, can't get it to go. BCC Cole from the outside right now. And Quinn Sigmund, as soon as they get the ball back, they turn it over, they give it right back. Yeah, two quick turnovers from Quinn Sigmund, really just seconds after they had possession. Yeah, sloppy basketball. Both teams not playing great offensive basketball right now. And there's a foul there by Justin Gasper. Justin Gasper, number 32, six foot one from Worcester, Massachusetts. That's gonna be his first foul. Both teams have four. Both teams have four team fouls. And we're not even halfway through this first half. 11.37 to play, 12.8 BCC. All right, let's get it going. I feel like we go through this every game, this little hesitation. It's back and forth from the refs. <laughs> exactly. All right, Dwayne Martin, I mean, Damian Martin at the point. BCC working that zone. Uh, Provitt had a wide open look at a three-pointer. And they're gonna call a foul on the ball, on the uh, on the drive there. And Dombrowski's hurt. They can't afford him to get hurt. He's their big scorer right now. And then they'd have to play without a bench if he went down. Yeah, they, they would be hurting. Caleb Provitt to inbound. Dombrowski. Underneath, they'll dump it into Winbush easily. Puts it about the glass and in. QCC. All right, that shot clock went off. I'm not sure what's going on, but QCC will inbound the basketball. 
Yeah, I think it's just shot clock problems. It's Which always I mean. a shot clock problem here at LaFrance Gymnasium. Hmm. Need a new shot clock. <laughs> Need a new bench. Need a new media booth. We're very needy people. One thing you don't need new, though, is the announcers. Because they're pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty, uh... It's all about money and rings. <laughs> and he stepped out of bounds. Number 32, Justin Gasper, steps out of bounds on the drive. One thing about BCC, which makes them such a machine, you can lose guys like Corey Green, who's a big, huge score for them. You can lose a guy like Marcus Mitchell, who was a big three-point uh, sniper from out, from out, from this year, and a Malik Muhammad Hester. Yeah, Malik Muhammad Hester, a big-time rebounder. Yeah, good rebounder. Seem, seemingly got better as the season was going along. Very was getting sturdy a sturdy player. Yeah, big sturdy player. Another guy you can put in that rotation that can come in and and uh, do some little things. Not that big of a scorer, but you know had some ability to score. But they didn't really look for him to score, but it kind of an enforcer in there and solid body. When the machine keeps rolling. Provit, nice little stutter step. Gets his stuff blocked, but he gets fouled and he'll go to the line. Caleb Provit, he is a, I think he's a very underrated player for this team. He's definitely asserting himself now, getting himself really, uh, really established in the offense so far this game. And he's been a starter. I mean, he's been getting key um, big-time minutes, you know, since a lot of these guys have gone out. And he was he was usually, like, in the rotation, but, like, in a sec in that second unit, like that second-tier players. But now he's uh, worked his way up, moving his way on up. And, you know, one of the, uh, the go-to guys. Definitely fast. Definitely got a lot of – definitely can dribble fast, good in the open court. Gets to the hoop. Like you called him Marcus Smart. That's that's about right. And Marcus Smart, really good defender. Marcus Smart's a really good defender. Killer Profit's a good defender. Look at that. Yeah, exactly, right there. He's getting the steal. He gets the foul. Yeah, hustle. You could be a lot worse than Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart's like a, he's a junkyard dog. He's a dirt dog. He, he does the dirty things. Caleb Profit doesn't flop as much. <laughs> Got to teach him. <laughs> loose ball, loose ball on the floor. BCC comes away with it. 15 to 10, coming up on the halfway mark here in the first half. Vega back out to Martin. Martin back to Vega. Vega, corner jumper, no good. BCC struggling from the outside. Most of their shots have come in the paint. Most of their shots have come in the paint. Um, Going to Winbush. And Holloway checks in for the first time this game. So Holloway is in there. Coming off the bench. And yeah, he gets and a yeah, steal. He gets steal. Off to Provit using his speed. And he'll get it to go and he gets fouled. And I believe the foul is going to be on number four, Jose Alejandro. Yep, Holloway immediately gets in there, makes something happen, forces a steal, or forces a turnover, and gets it up to Kayla Provid, who lays it in. And looking for the old-fashioned three-point play, 17-10. to 10. But Sigamon came out of the gate with a little bit of a lead, but BCC has since pulled away and is up by eight now. Three-point play by Kayla Provid. He's one of the leading scorers in this first half, along with Joshua Winbush. Oh, but wide open, wide open in that zone. And Johnny Dabrowski gets a couple more. Nice pass there. Good look. But Sigamon goes into a 2-3 zone. They're, they're going to need to do something about uh, Josh Winbush because he is he is just going to outmuscle him, and he's obviously got the huge height advantage. Yeah, it's going to be interesting seeing the quick Sigamon defense, especially with such a depleted bench. BCC loves a man offense. They love to tire out their opponents, and Quinn Sigamon can't really afford for that to happen to them. Yeah, because of, because of the short bench and, and obviously their lack of athleticism. They, they don't have the, uh, the athletes or the talent that BCC has. 
I think that's apparent. That's for sure. Dar Kevin McHale over here, air ball. <laughs> Kevin McHale shot a few of those. Yeah, exactly. Oh, nice pass by Vega, a slam by Winbush, textbook. BCC up 20 to 12. Josh Winbush going off today, so right now. He's got 12 points. He is matching Quinn Sigamon as a team right now. The Bush. Oh, nice pass by. He is such an old school player. He looks like he looks like Bob Cousy over here. But he, that, that ball goes out of bounds. What are you talking about, Dombrowski? Yeah, he's like an old school. Like he's like a throwback. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have the like. Doesn't have the wheels. Doesn't have like the all the athleticism in the world. But I mean, Bob Cousy was ahead of his time. He was way ahead of his time. He's a cross between McHale and Bob Cousy. That's not bad. It's no, it's definitely a, it's definitely a good combination. And there's another travel, another travel call, and it's going to be going back Quinn Sigamon's way. It's an interesting combination, but it's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. <laughs> the combination of a, a 1950s, uh, yeah, 60s a, a point 50s, guard and 60s a 60s player and, and, a, <laughs> and a slow, uh, you know, big slow man like uh, Kevin McHale. Yep, slow 80s man. Kevin McHale at the end of his career could hit threes. He could sit out there and uh, if he's wide open, he could hit that top of the – Top of the key kind of three, like Dombrowski did earlier. That's what starts to happen when your legs start to give out when you get older. <laughs> you got to find other ways. Yeah. Seven on the shot clock, deep three. It's good. Angel Crespo for three. At the end of the shot clock there. Quinn Sigamon really active with that zone. It's giving BCC a little bit of fits here. In the corner, Espinol baseline. Nice little dish to Coban, but gets it knocked away. Crespo in the lane, puts, uses his body, puts it above the glass and in. Angel Crespo, five quick points there on consecutive times up the floor. White calls a time, BCC calls a timeout, 20 to 17. 727 left to play, and just when you thought BCC was Going to start to creep away with it when Sigamon fights itself back into it. Again, 7.27 left to play. Thanks to everybody watching on, li on this live stream. All right, welcome back in. Watching Bayhawks basketball 20 to 17. BCC has the lead. If you're just joining us, it's Bristol Community College versus Quinn Sigamon. Community College, the Wyverns. BCC with the basketball. Oh, nice pass from. Get a big block. Caban got blocked. That was Rosario with the nice pass, and then yeah, Caban yeah. just got absolutely stuffed. I, I, I couldn't get his name out of my mouth. I was like, that's a nice pass by Rosario. 12 on the shot clock. Wyverns playing good defense here. BCC's going to get it off. Coban drives, and that's going to be an offensive. It is an offensive. Coban dipping that shoulder in. Goodness gracious. Looking like Ronkowski out there trying to try throw a block. Mm. Josh Winbush, number four, and uh, Damian Martin will come in. Number two coming in for Coban and Luis Rosario. And uh, BCC... BCC playing zone. Both teams playing zone. In the, in the lane, Dombrowski tips it. No good. Fall away jumper by Crespo is no good. Another Quinn offensive Singamon rebound. Getting, I yeah. was going to say, look at Quinn Singleman getting the rebounds. Martin way out of control, but he gets fouled. I don't know how Martin came away with that. I have no idea. Looks like he, It looked like he never had control of the basketball. It looked like he was trying to pick up like a, like a floating bar of soap or something. Kept slipping out of his hand. Caleb Provitt will check out. Zachary Vega in. Along with Alexander Holloway. Damian Martin at the line. First free throw was good. BCC in a one-on-one -on -one situation. In the one-on-one -on -one situation, second free throw coming up for Martin. 6.39 to play here in the first half. Second free throw, no good. Rebounded by Winbush. 
BCC really trying to work that zone with the ball movement. They're going to need to. Holloway finds Martin in the corner for three. No good. Rebounded by Winbush. You feel like BCC can just shoot from anywhere and feel, and feel confident in it because Josh Winbush is going to be there to clean up the mess. Yeah, good job by Winbush just following the shot and just getting an easy putback. Easy for him, at least. Very easy. Turnover by Quinn Sigamon. Sloppy passes there. Vega driving all the way to the basket. Kicking it back out to Holloway, and it gets the roll and drops it. BCC back out to an eight-point lead. 5.50 to play here in the first half. BCC with a trap. Espinol, the steal. Espinol playing Going good defense. Going to the lane, and it's good. Espinol in these last couple drives been playing some pretty good defense. Got two back-to-back -back steals right away. And he does a good job of getting into the passing lane. And gets the easy layup, and just like that, BCC up 12. 5.39 to play. And BCC should be should be wiping the floor with this uh, with Sigamon team. Um, kudos, kudos to um, QCC, you know, for hanging in there with the uh, top 25 ranked team in, in in BCC. So 27 to 15, and you know um, we're getting down the stretch, Craig. We're getting down in here, and it's late January. Yeah, it's going to be February pretty soon. Yeah, it's going to be February, and then that's when we really start kicking into gear. And BCC after today, Craig, they play against Holyoke Community College this Saturday. Next Tuesday at Mass Bay Community College. Always a tough game. And then we start our February schedule, and uh, they'll start off against Gateway Community College on February 1st, which will be student night. Big night there. Uh, there'll be a doubleheader. The women's um, Bristol Community College Bayhawks team will be in action at 6. And then at 8, um, your BCC men's team right here that you see will face off against Gateway Community College at 8. And that is uh, student night. We get some uh, prizes, some giveaways, different things going on. Some goodies. Some goodies. And then they face uh, Quincy College, a team that was the first team to beat them this year. So BCC definitely trying to hit their stride. I think this right now, right here, is like a, I don't know, this is like a come to Jesus period where you get to try to figure out who's going to be on the team, who's not going to be on the team, who's healthy. You know, what, the, what, what is going to be the, uh, the rotation, the, uh, the lineups going forward? Who is going to be the guys that are going to step up for this team? I think it, as long as you have a guy like Joshua Winbush, you know, he has to be the star. He has to be the go-to guy. He has to be the man. Yeah, this second half team is definitely a bit different than the first half team. That's what I mean. It's like a tale of two different teams. So Rob Del Lou needs to figure that out. Nice spin. <laughs> Look at the, the man of a thousand low post moves, Johnny Dombrowski, a.k.a. Kevin McHale. Nice little spin move. That's what McHale does, little up fakes. And I'm telling you, go watch those videos. <laughs> Holloway finds Vega on the reverse lay-in. Good. Good job for Holloway to stick with it. First pass gets deflected. And then he found Vega cutting underneath the basket. 28 to 17. Live streaming from the France Gymnasium. Floater no good. Loose ball. And... Uh, I think they're going to call a foul. Yeah, this is a lot of bodies tripping over each other. I'm not sure who gets the foul. I think they're going to call a they're going to call a foul on Zachary Vega. Hmm. That's a 16 foul for BCC. The next one. Ooh, trying to get inside to Dombrowski to get stolen. He telegraphed that one. BCC loves her skip passes. That's what you do against the zone. Espinol, deep three, no good. Rebounded by Justin Gasper. Gasper with the basketball will bring it up for Quinn Sigamon. Quinn Sigamon doing a good job of hanging around. Three by Crespo, way off. And it's going to be off QCC. 
QCC in that royal blue with the white. Holloway now is running the point now for BCC. Martin playing up the ball. 15 on the shot clock. Get into the lane. Nice pass by Holloway. And I think they're going to call a travel. They're going to call a travel on Espinal. I think BCC's turnovers, Craig, is allowing QCC to really stay in this game. Loose ball on the basketball court. And while he getting, getting trampled over there is uh, Justin Gasper. Had two BCC guys all over him. And uh, all right, they're going to call a timeout on the floor. Is that a referee's timeout? I'm not sure. Okay, either way, timeout on the floor, 350 to play, 29 to 17. What have you seen out there, Craig? Uh, right now, as you're saying, Josh Wimbush is going to have a big game. He's already got 14 points so far in the game. He's leading by far by anyone else in this team. The next closest is Caleb Provitt and Hakan uh, Koban, who both have four. So but right now, again, Josh Wimbush really running the offense. But don't you think Josh Wimbush, I mean, he's got 14 points. Don't you think he could have way more than that right now with a size advantage? I mean, he keep, he seems to keep popping out. You know, to the outside when he should he could be on the block right now, dominating. He should have like. He should have at least 20 points right now. I want to see 40. He got close one time. He got 39. Yeah, thir he did have 39. Then Corey Green got 39. Didn't Corey Green get 39 as yeah, well? Yeah, Corey Green got 39 the next game. Yeah. Corey Green not in action today. 17 on the shot clock. Down inside. Dombrowski lays it in. Got it to go. Did you see the like the emphatic dribble that he brought down with it? He is like a yes, he yes. He is deceptively very damn good inside. He is working. Nice little half hook there by Vega. No good. Tipped by Winbush. Winbush keeps it alive. Vega thought about three. Kicks it back out. 18 on the shot clock. Espinal in the lane. Get a block, but he's going to get fouled. And that foul is going to be on number 32, Justin Gasper. 10 point lead for BCC with 3.16 to play here in the first half. Espinal connects on the first one, giving BCC. A 19-point lead. Can I get the second one to go? Nice rebound by Damian Martin. Goes up over Dombrowski to bring it down. In the corner, Martin no good. BCC can't buy buckets from the outside right now. Driving in the lane, kicking it back out. Yeah, BCC right now as a team, 0 for 6 from beyond the arc. Ooh, Martin almost stole that one. You say 0 for 6? Yep. Getting inside. Alejandro couldn't, get, couldn't connect on it. <laughs> 13 on the shot clock. But Sigamon doing a great job defensively, forcing BCC to, to work deep into the shot clock. Winbush inside, being double teamed. Kicking it back out. Martin's going to have to get rid of it. The floater, no good. Loose ball. Let's see who they call it, and it's going to be BCC basketball. And Caleb Provitt's going to be checking back into the game for the Bayhawks. Coming in for Juan Espinal. And BCC, Craig, they just offensively... The last few games we've seen them, they, look, they just look offensively kind of inept. Vega, back to Holloway, corner from the elbow. Looking pretty. Shock it up for Holloway. Shot is good, 32 to 19. You talk about shooting uh, beyond the arc hasn't been that great. Holloway's had some pretty good, uh, 
long twos that's been working for him. That mid-range game. The miss by Quinn Sigamon. Nice pass by Martin. Somehow gets it to Vega who lays it in. Somehow get it through that Quinn Sigamon uh, zone. Nice pass by Martin. Vega starting to pick up. Dombrowski with the three. Air ball. Another air ball by Kevin McHale. Winbush up to Vega. Lays it in. Nice heads up play by Winbush to find a streaking Vega. Going to the basket. Another two points for BCC. They're up 36-19. Dombrowski. Look at him. Oh, I'm telling you this guy is taking a page out of uh, Mr. McHale. Just the up-the-up the up fakes and the, and, the, and the low post moves. I'm just thinking of some guy like watching film just be like, I'm going to be Kevin McHale one day. <laughs> He's got like those old man moves. The old man moves. <laughs> I mean, he's six foot two. I mean, so he's not like a midget, but I mean, he play he plays deceptively bigger. Thirteen on a shot clock. BCC playing tough D in the lane, getting it to go. We're down to less than a minute oh. now in the first half. Alejandro with the score, and Vega's going to travel. They're going to call him for travel. Forty-nine point five seconds to play here in the first half. BCC doing a good job defensively. Causing a lot of turnovers. Quinn Sigamon, not, uh, not, not in sync offensively. They're missing a lot of shots, turn the ball over. And just like they are, just like they just did there, steal by Caleb Provitt. Caleb Provitt. Martin, nice pass to Winbush. Lost control of it. Oh, it's too bad. But that was a great pass by Martin. Great court vision. Vega, and the lane is good. Pass by Holloway. When Sigamon just no effort on defense off that play. Yeah, Vega was just like sitting out there for an easy two, easy short jumper. Stolen by Winbush. Out to his old high school teammate. The flip to Vega lays it in. And Vega just starting to streak and score. Yeah, Vega started off to a slow start, but he's been scoring left and right now. Fall away by Holloway at the buzzer. No good, but BCC, after a slow start here in the first half, Offensively, they have a 40 to 21 lead over the visiting Quinn Sigamon Wyverns of, uh, of Worcester, Massachusetts. All right, so at the half, 40 to 21, Bayhawks looking for win number 16. We'll be right back. Uh, keep, keep joining us here as we are on the live stream here on Facebook. We'll be right back for a second half action from the France Gymnasium in Fall River, Massachusetts. All right, welcome back, everybody, to LaFrance Gymnasium here in Fall River, Massachusetts. You're watching Bayhawks basketball, 40-21, to 21, BCC with the lead. And, Craig, what did you see out there in the first half? BCC, a little bit of a slow start, but um, they only held the Wyverns to 21 points, so good defensively. Yeah, like you said, slow start from BCC really out of the gates, but they did start to pick up towards the end of the half. Uh, right now, leading scorer for BCC is, of course, Josh Wimbush. He's diving a typical Josh Wimbush game, 14 points so far. Six rebounds, two, ste uh, two steals, two assists. Um, so right now, and Zachary Vega, also, he kind of really started out as a slow start. Wasn't, too in do uh, wasn't doing too good on the scoring-wise, but he's uh, got himself up to 10 points. So looking for a big second half here from these guys and looking to pull away. As you said, they, uh, the Wyverns really keeping it close, but right now BCC up to a 19-point lead starting the second half. Yeah, Wyverns, they did keep it close there for a little bit in the first half. BCC went on a little bit of a run there. At the end, like you said, Zachary Vega started to establish himself as a score. Three-point shot in the corner is an air ball. Rebounded by Dombrowski. Gets a block by Winbush. Surrounded by the trees. Coban was there, too. Up ahead to Vega. Provitt swings it in the corner to Espinal, and he'll lose it out of bounds. You know, Coach Rob D don't like that. Getting the second half underway. The visiting Wyverns coming here at 4-12. Lackluster record. They're going up against a top-ranked team here in BCC. Who last was ranked in the top 20. Short jumper. No good. Another air ball. How many air balls for the Wyverns today? At least three. At least three. 
Espinal thought about that three. Gets it stolen away by Crespo. Crespo going to the lane. Dodges the defender. Gets it blocked by Espinal. They're going to call it goal 10 as he pinned that one to the glass on the way down. And they'll, they'll chalk up that score for QCC. I'm David Cardoza here with Craig Salvador on the call. We're watching Bayhawks basketball, FR Media. Ooh, getting into the lane and scooping it up and in is Hakan Koban, the six foot six freshman. Yeah, looks like he was gonna try to pass besides taking himself and does the right thing, lays it in for an easy two. Koban doing a good job using his size to an advantage. And he's done a great job here in the second half of the season. A lot of improvement, nice pass down low inside. But Brandon Dion could not connect underneath. Provit over to Vega. QCC in a 1-2-2 zone. Espinol for three. No good. BCC's had the looks, Craig, but they just cannot connect. Yeah, I don't think they've hit a single three so far in the game. 0 for 7 now. And as you said, you know, BCC, their three-point snipers really going down, either going down or just not eligible right now. So that's really a big hit because BCC for a while in the first half of the season, a lot of their offense did come from the outside. Yeah, that was definitely uh, one of their, definitely one of their big, big weapons was shooting from the outside. Stretching the, stretching the defense. They don't have that today. Luckily, they have a huge height advantage. So Khan Coban out there and Josh Wimbush both go at 6'6 six, six and 6'7", six respectively. Here's Provit out to Vega. Cross court, Espinol inside to Wimbush. No good. Loose ball. Here's Vega. Strong take and drops it in. Vegas, the guy who kind of gets going late. Yeah. He'll start off with like a couple, you'll know, have a few points, but then next thing you know, you look up and he's got like 20. Yeah, again, very consistent scorer. Um, he's been doing a lot better staying out of foul trouble. I remember early on, that was really his problem. He'd find himself, you know, three, four fouls decently quick into the game, but now doing a lot better consistently staying in the game a lot longer and scoring a lot more. And they need him to be an offensive force. Winbush gets that stolen. Going back the other way. Oh, Crespo, no good. The putback effort, no good. Vega on the other end, he'll get fouled. First free throw was made by Vega. They call the foul on number 33. I believe uh, 33 is, I believe it's Luis Maldonado. Forty-six to twenty-three. BCC with the lead. Dombrowski, <laughs> always trying to muscle his way in. Dombrowski gets that ball and always pounds the ball onto the floor. He's like making sure his presence is known. <laughs> exactly. All the way out to Wimbush. There's the alley-oop. They're gonna call that. They're gonna call that foul on uh, Brendan Dion with a push off. That's gonna be his second foul. BCC to inbound. Holloway back to Provit. Provit gets inside to Coban. Good defense by the Wyverns. Yeah, shot clock down. It's five seconds. Holloway's got to do something. Driving. Holloway going strong. Goes to the hole. And he'll get fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. And they're going to
called that foul number 10, Angel Crespo. Holloway hits the first free throw. 24 point lead, 47 to 23, BCC leading comfortably with 15.52 to play. Second free throw was good. Ooh. Looks like that was going to be a steal. It eventually is a steal. They got the numbers. Vega up to Provit. Lay can't lay it in. Crespo comes away with it. Provo, uh, Provo might have hurt himself on that play. He's having trouble getting up. Deep three. Crespo no good. Coming off. And it looks like it's going to go off Zachary Vega. Vega looks like he got roughed up there. And Damian Martin's coming in for Provit. Provit not feeling good after that exchange. Provit kind of favoring that wrist. Not sure what's going on there. Look like he's favoring that left wrist over there. Corner jumper, Crespo, no good. BCC with the basketball. Holloway looking to push. Nice pass inside of Vega. Can't do nothing with it, though. Lose control out of it. Loses control of it. It will remain BCC basketball. Holloway gets it underneath to Coban. Coban can't get it to go. Rebound, puts it back up and in, sticks with it. And Coban will go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Good job by Hakan Coban. And Coban in the second half of the season has gotten a little bit more aggressive. We've seen him very um, attentive on the offensive glass. And better at the free throw line as he drains that free throw. Yeah, Caban having a good game right now. Caban, Winbush, and Vega right now are combining for 37 of the points that BCC has out of their 51. And that's a three-headed monster. BCC does a good job of trapping. Loose ball. That's going to get into the backcourt. And it's going to be BCC basketball. Another turnover by the Wyverns. Been the story of the day for them. Only 23 points in uh, nearly 26 minutes of action. Yeah, and BCC really has picked up the offense. You remember we were talking about kind of the slow start, but they're really picking up on offense since then. Exactly. Getting back to the status quo. They get the looks from the outside. And despite their misses, and that ball gets telegraphed in the hands of Brandon Dion now for QCC. And that ball is going to be thrown out of bounds there by Justin Gasper. Another turnover. And both teams have been having a pretty decent amount of turnovers, even BCC. The only difference is BCC is still able to finish on the other end. Well, the difference is QCC... On their turnovers, they can't they can't turn them into into points. Nice ball movement. Seeing better ball movement by BCC, but it's a travel. I think they call it on Martin. Nonetheless, it's going to be uh, QCC basketball. BCC. In that in that two three zone, and Kuban gets caught for reaching. Like I said, Kuban's one of those players. Like you like him when he's on your team because he's also one of those uh, one of those aggravating kind of players, and he's aggressive and he and he he's just on you. But if he's on the other team, you hate him. You hate a guy like him. Nice bounce pass underneath. Pounding his way as Alejandro can't get it to go. I think they're going to call another foul on Coban. Uh, no, it's on Winbush. It is on Winbush. So it was on one of them. Both kind of both went up for it. Yeah, it, it's very hard for Quint Sigamon to score. When they try to get, when they, first of all, they can't hit, they can't buy a bucket from the outside. 
when they try to pound it inside, Coban and, and Winbush are really there to collapse on, and they're all over him. It's like going amongst the trees. Caleb Provident will come in for Coban as we speak. And now uh, Rob Delu using a little bit more of that big lineup. I like to see that. The Twin Towers out there. And um, using it to his advantage against a smaller QCC team. Second, second free throw was missed. Both free throws missed there by QCC. Long pass is stolen away. Bad pass by Provit. Going back the other way is QCC. Loose ball. Provit almost got a steal. Instead, they're going to call a foul on him. Provit has fast hands. He is, he's been doing very good on defense. He's been getting a lot of steals, a lot of rebounds. He is getting it done on the defensive end. He's a dirt dog. Not afraid to get his, not afraid to get his nose dirty. Underneath, they'll go to Kevin McHale, lays it up and in. How he got that shot off with uh, with the giant wind bush all over him, I don't know. The man of a thousand moves. The all man he, of a thousand low post moves. All he needs to do is go back in time, get those Kevin McHale like Converse basketball shoes from the 80s. You remember those? Oh yeah. Ugly. Oh, going baseline, Vega. I am not going to give him a jam on that. No. He does not get dunk points for that. Got it stuck in the rim, lays it in. Ugly, but he got it to go. You know the man of a thousand holes? It's like Dean Malenko. Dean Malenko, yeah. Yeah, that's Dombrowski. He's, Dean, he's a cross between Dean Malenko, Bob Cousy, and Kevin McHale. Who's the Chris Jericho then? He's the man of a thousand <laughs> and four holes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's you. Loose ball and put back in. Score it. For Luis, Luis Maldonado. Here's Holloway with the basketball. Again, Queen Sigamon making BCC really work in the shot clock well, winding down. You can see BCC holding on to the basketball longer than usual against this zone. I think BCC plays a lot better. Um, well, they obviously they play a lot better when they are fast breaking, when they're getting turnovers, and um, turn that defense into offense. You know, I wouldn't say their half court offense is their strength, but I think they're a lot better at man to man because of the athletes that they have. Yeah, BCC is a very fast team, so they do a really good job of tiring out their opponents. They do do that. Long rebound coming out the miss by Martin Crespo as Winbush trailing them. Did a great job of switching to his left hand there. And it's going to stay, looks like it's going to stay Wyvern's basketball. Yeah, I think Caleb Provitt went up and got the rebound, but I think he went out of bounds as he did it. Yeah, I think his momentum might have carried him out. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely off BCC. There he is. Look at that, look at that move. Oh, and he got, he got cuffed. And Wimbush just goes, yeah. get that weak stuff out of here. Yeah, Dombrowski is definitely, he's definitely watching uh, Kevin McHale how-to videos. Running the floor. Looking like Bob Cousy now, Dombrowski. He's going to go to the line. I like his intensity. I appreciate his, uh, his heart and his toughness. The heart of a lion, Mr. Uh, he's going to like that name, too, Johnny Dombrowski. And he that spell, sounds and he, like an 80s name. And yeah, and he, and he spells it J-O-N-N-Y. Oh, does he? I never noticed that. <laughs> Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Loose ball in the basketball on the on the court there. It's going to be a turnover. It's going to be BCC basketball. Five team fouls for the visiting Quinsigamon Community College Wyverns. If you're wondering what a Wyvern is, if you didn't hear us at the beginning of the broadcast, it is a dragon. Going to the lane, cutting through the defense is Holloway, but he can't get it to fall. Here come the Wyverns. Angel Crespo, the floor general for QCC. Johnny Bravo. Look at the way they're working this defense. Nice passing. Fall away jumper, no good. Rebounded by Dombrowski. A.K.A. Kuzi, A.K.A. McHale, A.K.A. Johnny Bravo. I wish he was on PCC. He has more, uh, more nicknames than I do. <laughs> Already. <laughs> we're, not even, uh, we're not even halfway through the uh, second half yet. 
timeout on the court. 53 to 27, BCC leading very comfortably. All right, so this week, myself and uh, Mr. Craig Salvador with the, uh, the great Lucy Cabral recorded our, our podcast this week for the Dirty Water Sports Hour. You can find that where, Craig, on SoundCloud? You can find it on SoundCloud slash Dirty Water Sports Hour. We just posted our first podcast there this week talking about the Patriots, their road to the Super Bowl, beating the Jacksonville Jaguars in the AFC Championship. And they'll be pl uh, playing the um, Philadelphia Eagles in a couple weeks' time at the Super Bowl in Minnesota. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, we were definitely talking about that. We were talking about that huge AFC Championship win, that great comeback by TB12 and the Pats, and Patriots uh, advance to their eighth Super Bowl. <laughs> Can't wait for next Sunday. Yep. Then coming up, we'll be continuing talking about the Patriots, of course. We'll also probably be touching upon some other things. Uh, Baseball Hall of Fame just had four new inductees, probably touch upon that. Bruins star Brad Marchand just got suspended, probably talk about that, where the Bruins are going to go without him for five games. Celtics finally snapped their uh, four-game losing streak, probably touch upon that. We'll, we'll, fit, we'll fit all that into the five percentile. It's going to be 95% Patriots as they go for the pursuit of their sixth Lombardi Trophy. So look look forward to that. And also you can watch us, um, if you want to see our beautiful faces, you can watch us on FR Media. Check your local listings in Fall River and the surrounding areas. It's channel 95 on your dial on Comcast. All right, 53 to 27. So yeah, that is the Dirty Water Sports Hour. Part of BCC Radio. Johnny Bravo at the line. First free throw was made. Steve Reese, our great cameraman, just excited, excited to be here. Having a great time. Second free throw by Johnny McHale, Johnny Bravo. Second free throw was made. I tell you, shooting forms, it's like something you see out of a guy at the YMCA, but he's getting it to work. <laughs> is, he, is he way ahead of his time or way behind his time? Uh, yes. Behind his time? Sure. Provit. Back out to Vega, corner three, I mean, from the wing, can't get it to no. fall. Crespo pushing it. Bravo for three, it's good. <laughs> Johnny Dombrowski going the other way as Vega lays it in. Vega streaking. Vega looks like a gazelle in the open court. Six foot four, long strides. Jombrowski for three again! It's the Johnny Dombrowski, Johnny Bravo, Bob Cousy, Kevin McHale show here tonight. Doing a little bit of everything. Holy cow. I don't know how he's doing it. <laughs> You know, appreciate a man with limitations who can go above and beyond like that. Inside of Vega, doing a little bit of everything as he gets scores in the post with a little right-hand hook there. Zachary Vega. Yep, Zachary Vega up to 20 points now this game. I told you. There it is again. I put oh, the boy. hand up. He was hot dogging it. I would have lost my mind. He was hot dogging it. He was hot dogging it. He had the Steph Curry leave the hand up. He was feeling it, Craig. I was ready to put myself through a table if he made that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We got 10 minutes to go. Zachary Vega back out to Provit. 10 minutes to go. We've already been making wrestling references for I, like the last I, 10 minutes. I know. 12 on the shot clock. Time to get it off. Provit. And um, I think they're going to call a foul because he went in a bound there. Yep, he's going to be inbounding it from underneath uh, the Wyvern's end of the, hoop, uh, the court, so yeah. Both teams have five team fouls. I'm going to call that foul on Jose Alejandro. Winbush inside to a cutting Espinal. Winbush has such great, such great passing ability and such great uh, court awareness finding a cutting Espinal. And interesting about Wimbush, he has not scored this half, but he has still been such a presence from the assist point of view, the rebounds, and the blocks. Exactly. He's still his court presence is all he needs. I mean, he's just, look at him with the basketball. Yeah. 
Damian Martin. Oh, nice, one, nice behind the court pass. Private for three. Oh, oh that man. Would have been, that would have oh, been something man. special. That would have been something special. Ahead. Stolen by Martin on the other end. Oh, Vega. Oh, man. Gets it into Winbush. He should score easily. Can't get it to fall. Winbush having a tough time scoring underneath the basket right now. Oh, nice oh, steal by Martin. Martin. Boy, he intercepted it at point blank range. Martin scooping it up to the hole. No good. And the, to follow up is Juan Espinal, number one. And BCC has now climbed out slowly but surely to a 26 point lead, 61 to 35. Crespo, no good. Oh, going up to get it. Dombrowski even has the Bob Cousy kind of pass. I can I can really see where you're talking about now with a Bob yeah, Cousy. Yeah, it's just like that old school, just like that. It's just like that quick, like like he did like a hook pass. He's just kind of like yeah, you like and you're like yeah, exactly. Like you're and you're like where where's it coming from? It's like that little like quick like no look like like hook pass like. Ooh. Through the wickets. Yeah, Bill Buckner. Call him Buckner now. Browski, he's got a quick release. No good. Winbush going all the way through and lays it in. The big man in the open court. And Wimbush has uh, done well from the free throw line today. And he's done much better over the last couple games we've seen him. And timeout on the court, 64 to 35. QCC calls timeout, 722 here to play in the second half. You know, we talked about the offense at BCC, and they were kind of stagnant there in the first half. And they were really having trouble against this um, Quinn Sigamon zone. Kind of holding on the ball late, you know, Quinn Sigamon forcing BCC with their active zone, you know, to go deep, you know, to forcing them to shoot deep into the shot clock. And even though there was holes in the zone, because BC, um, BCC had some open looks, they weren't hitting anything from the outside. BCC has uh, turned that around a little bit, you know, hitting a couple uh, couple outside shots, and but really dominating and doing most of their work off of turnovers and in, uh, in the interior, in the paint. Yeah, exactly. BCC's defense has really been shining today, too. They've been getting a lot of steals, a lot of rebounds, and a lot of blocks, actually. So yeah. it's definitely been working on defense. You guys, even like Damian Martin, he had that interception oh, from interception two feet like away. From like two feet away, yeah. he caught that. That was good. And Caleb Provitz having a really good defensive night. He's getting a lot of steals. I think he has like four steals. He has like five rebounds. Josh Winbush has a double-double again, 11 rebounds to go along 17 points. Zachary Vega's just been out there on the break. Run the run the floor. Yep, Juan Espinal's had some good uh, good steals in the game. Most definitely. Another steal. Quinn Sigamon is just being killed with the basketball, though. Yeah, you don't always need those no look passes, especially at this point in the game. <laughs> hey, you know people. You know, guys. You know, kids. They got they get their family. They get. Oh, backing himself in, muscling his up. Wait, look at the fight away. Oh, he is going. fired up. That is Kevin McHale. Make no mistake about it. I guarantee that's his favorite player. Post-game interview. <laughs> so what's your thoughts on Kevin McHale? Did, did you pattern your game up from him? That was excellent. Pounds the ball into the floor. Little shake, fall away. You don't see those moves anymore. And he completes the three-point play. He's also been very good from the foul line. He really is. Very... Um, Fundamentally sound on the offensive end for sure. Johnny Bravo. He gets all the ladies. Dwayne. <laughs> oh, Lord. From the top of the key, Holloway pulls it. Can't pull it to go in, though. And 
In the corner for three, no good, way off. Another air ball for QCC. They're, they've been way off from the outside. You talk about BCC, Quinn Sigamon hasn't been that much better. Obviously, they have 38 points. Did Wimbush or Holloway catch that? Oh, I'm not really sure there, Greg. Oh, Wimbush off the double team, gets it to Espinal. Espinal gets a couple more easy ones. And we're coming up on six minutes to play, BCC. Yeah, Juan Espinal getting some good minutes in this game. Look at Dombrowski, the way that he, oh my God. He is, he is definitely their leading scorer right now. You are like, it's like, you don't even know how he's getting that shot out sometime. It's just like, he just knows how to play. All right, there, he's got Winbush, he's a lot taller than him, but it's just a good fadeaway jump shot. he gets it over him. He's got it underneath of him, he's gotten it over him. Winbush, all he's gonna do is just back himself in and lay it in for two. Nice lob pass there from Provitt, gets it inside to Josh Winbush. And uh, it's a 28 point lead. Three pointer, rolls out. Another rebound by Winbush. Holloway will look to push. Bounce pass inside. Provit, oh, oh what, what a, a block. block, what a block. What a block by Justin Gesper, who has it, flips it off. To Maldonado, to Dion, couldn't get it to go. Seventeen on the shot clock. They'll go cross court. Martin to Holloway. Air ball. Rebounded by Dombrowski. Yeah, at this point in the game, BCC is pretty much all but forgotten the three point shot. They don't need it. That's a deep three. Almost oh got it to go. <laughs> He's becoming a ball hog right now. <laughs> he just gets blocked. He's like, I'm going to get my stats. That's We're losing. I'm going to get my stats. And uh, Johnny Dabrowski, if, he, if, if we were um, broadcasting for Quinsigamon right now, he would be our Wyverns player to the game, with no doubt about that. Yeah, he's definitely putting up a great effort. He is. Val Valiant. Johnny Valiant. He's got a fun name because with Johnny, you can put anything next to it. Yeah, and it works. <laughs> yeah, it works, yeah. Two points there by uh, Maldonado. Coming up on four minutes to play. BCC well on their way to victory, well on their way to their 16th victory. Hop, step. Hop, skip, and a step, and a jump <laughs> by Winbush. Both teams have 17 fouls, so both teams will be in the bonus from here on out. I don't think it matters. Zachary Vega looking to check back in. Hopefully everybody's enjoying this on the live stream, watching this on Facebook Live. And for all you people that get to watch this on FR, FR Media, Channel 95. Good games by Juan Espinal and Damian Martin as they'll come out. Winbush. Free throw was made, 69 to 42. Quinn Sigamon will call a timeout. 402 left to play here in the uh, in the game. You know, barring some uh, you know catastrophic events, you know, you know, like a missile hit or something. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Inane banter. Gotta love it. It's like the asteroid that's projected to miss the Earth during the Super Bowl. Is it, is, is there, is it projected to come? That's what they were the talking about. Was like, yeah, around the Super Bowl. Because like, there's a joke I saw. It was like, um, it's a map of, it's like a map of the U.S. and it's like this pe this group of people rooting for the Patriots. So it's all of New England. That's this group of people rooting for the Eagles. It's like oh, Philadelphia, New Jersey. Then it's like this group of people that just hopes the asteroid hits the earth and nobody wins and it's the rest of the country. <laughs> I can't believe the amount of hatred. Like, like real, This like is the real, saltiest like, Super Bowl ever. It is. This is very, very salty. You don't know how many, like, uh, messages I was getting, like, what's wrong with your pa Patriots? Oh, yeah. You know, and it's like, 
I wasn't even looking at my phone during the game. I looked at it a couple times, and I was getting, like, all this hate mail. Mm -hmm. I was getting messages on my page, and it's like, after the game, I was like, what? What would you say? Uh, I was, <laughs> there, was a, there was an Instagram account I followed um, where th – this one was about the Celtics, though. It was uh, saying, like, oh, how, how is your – it was showing the, um, like, the standings. It was like, how is your team doing, like, tell me, like, their place. So I put first with the um, – clover emoji the shamrock emoji and someone comments like band someone just comments bandwagon i'm like no <laughs> it's like no i'm kind of from the area i'm kind of from bandwagon yeah bandwagon celtics fan inbound to the basketball qcc So you need to bandwagon bad teams. That way, when they're good, you can say that you were a fan of them even before they were good. Exactly. Everyone just like the Browns now. Oh, no, and that's, why would you want to put oh, your Why would you want to put yourself through that kind of punishment? Oh, and sixteen. The factory. Yeah. Is, the factory is sadness. <laughs> the factory is sadness. Cross court pass. Provit into Coban. Nice hands. Wimbush back up to Vega for three. Vega getting unlucky from out there. I guess another one to roll out. It's good shot selection from Zachary Vega. It's just not the luck of the bounce. Yeah, they've had the open shots. Corner, corner shot there by Dion. I think, I think the foul's on Provit. Caleb. And look who's at the line. The man, the myth, the legend. Johnny Legend. Johnny Legend. Johnny Bravo. Wasn't there a movie called like Johnny One Vi Johnny One Five or something like that? I think I, th I think you're right. Isn't that the robot movie? <laughs> oh, Johnny Five O. Okay. Johnny Thank you, Steve. Five. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Johnny Dabrowski with the makes the first free throw. Second free throw was good. He's gonna have he's got half the QCC points right now. QCC, and give it to him, still playing D. Winbush back out. It's a good pass from Winbush. Provit for three, no good, man. BCC is just Brakowski from the, a nice rebound and put back by Vega. They're getting those looks. They obviously, I mean, the, the, the passes, the way, they're, the way they're passing around the perimeter and and moving the, uh, I mean, skipping the basketball and moving the defense, they're getting, um, Good shot selection from the outside. They're just not hitting from the outside. It's, it's, uh, it's despicable. Yeah, and the three-pointer is good by luck. Crespo. There's one thing you can give QCC. They are doing better from the outside, but, again, just not enough BCC doing better in every other aspect. How many misses from uh, from the uh, from the three from three point land for BCC? It's actually it's like 11. Yeah. It's, it's like, like 11 or 12. It's like they're like one for 11 or, yeah, like one for 11 or 12. And despite that, still a 24-point lead. And a spin in the lane. Spin move is can't get it to go, but Winbush gets it to go. Off the rebound, the miss by Holloway. Nice spin move there. Couldn't connect. Winding down. Yep, under two minutes to play now. He just finds a way. Reverse lay-in. Bob Cousy over here. Just has those old man moves. Knows how to get just enough separation and use enough fakes and head fakes and just somehow finds finds a way to get the ball in the basket. He's done it in a variety of ways. Going to the basket as Provit gets fouled and goes to the and goes to the line. And we talked about BCC after the our, our last game before the Christmas break was against Bunker Hill Community College. Top 25 team. They beat them 85 to 75. Bunker Hill, you know, has been one of their key rivals here in Region 21. You know, for the for the past few seasons. And um, three-game losing streak after they came back here in the second half. We had some roster issues. 
things going on with eligibility and things like that. But um, since then, four in a row. Crespo for three. No good. For the rebound is Coban. So BCC looking to lengthen another win streak. This will be win number five in a row after losing three in a row. Yeah, win number 16 on the season. Win number 16. Losing it. Eight on the shot clock. Espinol for three. Another miss from the outside. <laughs> Damian Martin will come in for Alexander Holloway. Luis Rosario out there, number 20, with Hakan Coban, number one, Juan Espinal, 23. Yeah, it's a Curryland. Curry land. Dombrowski just, just like, what the heck? He's just trying to stat pad at this point. Yeah. Looking for the highlight reel now. Hey, we may have lost, but I'm gonna drop, I'm still gonna drop 30. <laughs> exactly. I'm still Johnny Bravo. <laughs> BCC can just hold here, it doesn't matter. And that is going to be it. The buzzer is going to sound. There it is. And that is it. So BCC, after a slow start offensively, when Sigamon held in there for just a little bit in the first half, and then BCC went on a run at the end of the first half to make it a 19-point lead at the half, 40-21. to 21. And um, in the second half, nothing different. They outscore uh, Quinn Sigamon. Community College 35 to 18 in the second half, and ultimately a 26 point victory. So 75 to 49. And Craig, what a game for BCC. Um, you know they they've had their they've had their tough times in non-conference play. Coach Rob Del Lou uh, scheduling uh, non-conference teams, teams that he would um, you know that he would hope would battle test this team because they, you know in, in past seasons they have been battle tested. They lost a few in a row. But now they're on a little bit of a win streak, winning their fifth in a row here against uh, Quinn Sigamon. Yep, definitely. Even with games like this where the offense even then wasn't really up to peak, you know, they struggled a lot from the outside, but their defense was impeccable today. A lot of steals, a lot of blocks, a lot of rebounds, a lot of great efforts from guys like Caleb Provitt getting key minutes, Juan Espinal. All these guys really just stepping up big, Hakan Coban. So, again, just really a great team effort today and a great job on the defensive end. And Quinn Sigamon didn't do themselves any favors. I mean, they were throwing the ball, you know, they were basically giving BCC the basketball at times. Um, so for BCC, they had a few players play well, obviously. So who is going to be our Bayhawks player of the game? Well, it's not really a question at this point. It's Josh Wimbush, of course. He uh, had a great game again. 22 points, led the team, tied with Zachary Vega in points. He had five assists, um, second, that's second leading the team, five assists, two blocks, two steals. 14 rebounds, so and he went four for five from the foul line. So, again, just a complete effort from Josh Winbush, well-deserving. He is going to be our Bayhawks player of the game. And you can't win without Winbush. You can win in his name. So, yeah, that's the uh, Bayhawks player of the game. You heard it right here from the phenomenal one, the phenomenal Portuguese cowboy, Craig Salvador. So, Joshua Winbush is our Bayhawks player of the game. I want to thank everybody out there for watching the live stream on Facebook Live. And uh, I want to thank everybody out there for watching on um, FR Media when you do. So for Cardoza and uh, with the Portuguese Cowboy Craig Salvador, you've been watching Bayhawks basketball. Uh, Bayhawks are winners 75-49 to here at LaFrance Gymnasium in Fall River. Good night, everybody, from the river.